A Rogue Valley basketball team is inspiring youth up and down the West Coast, visiting one school at a time. But it's not just their moves that are eye-catching, it's how they move that has everyone mesmerized. NBC 5's Natalie Weber spent the afternoon with the Scorpion Wheelchair Basketball Team. She joins us live in studio with more. Natalie? Craig Kristen, I have to tell you, I was blown away from the moment that I stepped foot in the gym. And for good reason, they're ranked number one in the country in the National Wheelchair Basketball Association. But the team is hoping the community can lend a helping hand to get them to nationals. They've only been a team for two years. But the Rogue Valley Scorpions are going to the national championship for the second year in a row. It's a lot of hard work. Uh, we, we spend a lot of time training, 18 plus hours a week. But team representative Keith Avon says for them, it's about more than just the National Wheelchair Basketball Association. They travel all over the West Coast to introduce their sport to kids. To start developing programs and start teaching them and showing them the opportunities around the world you, know, you have even though you're disabled. For Tyrone Griner, the sports one helped him get through the unthinkable. I was shot. I was, uh, yeah, I was shot seven times. In the back, from only a few feet away. I still have movement in my legs, so I'm not completely paralyzed. So I drive with my left leg. While he's adapted, life for Griner has been different since the shooting in 2002. But only a year later, he was on the court for the very first time. He hasn't left since. You just gotta fight through it. You gotta, you gotta man up. That's what I was always taught. Griner and his teammates bring that same fight for life to their youth programs, but also to each game they play. As they near the end of the season, the nation's top ranked team is hoping their community will help them achieve their goals. Our casino night we're having over at Habitat for Humanity here in Medford. The March 18th fundraiser will help give this group of athletes their chance to bring the national championship trophy back to the Rogue Valley. We'll post more information about the Scorpions fundraiser on our website, KOBI5.com. The tournament is happening in Louisville, Kentucky at the end of this month. Live in studio, Natalie Weber, NBC5 News.